We go Origins 2017 here in Columbus, Ohio, at the Upper Deck Entertainment booth with Jason Brenner, the face of Upper Deck. Uh, and uh, we've got a, he's got a couple new releases that released here at Origins. So uh, what do we got, Jason? All right, big one right here. They, takes no explanation, right? Legendary X Men. Of course, okay. I'll just explain it right now. Anyway, who cares? So the latest in the, the Legendary line. Uh, if you haven't figured it out, it's all X Men all the time, which I'm really happy about because, well, why not? It's X Men. Right. We've been waiting to do a full X Men set for a while, okay. and we're finally allowed to do it. So here it is. 394 cards. That's a big one. Yeah, it's actually bigger than um, any of the other big boxes we've ever done because they two, usually cap out at about 350. Right. 394. Plus, uh, well, in, in addition, you get a cool promo card in there. Okay. Yeah. Which it even says limited edition promo card right on the box. Which it even says right on the box. So, Legendary X Men, brand new for the show. Uh, if you haven't picked it up yet, uh, it'll be in stores in about two weeks. You can get it then. Highly recommend it. Makes the game even harder than Dark City. Cool. Okay. All right, so right, uh, here's some play here. right here. Oh wait, right. here, I'll show you something awesome. Sorry guys. All right, here's your mastermind, right? Okay. Dark Phoenix, yeah, she's horrible. BAM! Two-sided. Oh, she's even worse. Two-sided masterminds, right? Okay. Nightmare. Also, new for this set, horrors. Well, they just make the game harder. Like, uh, you didn't need that. Anyhow, so that's X-Men. Okay. Uh, the other big thing we have right now at the show okay. is Quest for the Antidote. Okay. okay. Quest for the Antidote is you you our brand new board game uh, by that guy right there, Tom Deshane. Okay. Smile! There you go. Good man. He's a designer. Okay. So, Quest for the Antidote is our latest homegrown IP, and it is an amazingly fun traditional board game. You roll a die, you move a guy, you do a thing, you win the game. It's not quite that simple. Okay. The entire game, you're actually being poisoned, you're dying slowly. Okay. okay. The only way to prevent that is to collect all the antidotes, as in quest for the antidotes. Okay. Collect all your antidotes to make the cure and then you don't die. Okay. But so, you're actually dying every single oh, time. Wait, Young lady's about to roll a die. Yeah. Roll a die! Yeah, I didn't realize you could do that. Okay. She set the die down. All right, roll the die. You got it, Bethany. <laughs> and she's dying. Oh, because every time you roll a die, you move a guy, you lose a breath. Oh, if you lose 50 breaths, you're dead. Uh, there's also a really cool element that takes that to this game. And anybody who knows me knows I like to tell people to take that. Right. Not those words, but we'll say that on camera. Oh. Right. Okay. Um, Sounds great. To yeah. Me. So it's very much a. I'm about to win. Matter of fact, I was playing last night. I was literally about to win, and someone played the most awesomely evil card on me, where you literally have to change seats with another player. Oh. And uh, needless to say, the player that took my seat won the game. Oh yeah, man. Great. A lot yeah. of fun. Um, if you don't like take that games, well, so then it's probably not for you. But if you do, it's a hell of a lot of fun. Oh, sweet. Yeah. So, quest for the antidote. Wow. And then lastly, but not okay. we have... Oh yeah, the dingo ate the baby. The dingo ate the baby. Okay. Yeah, the dingo ate the baby. It's uh, a Mike Elliott game. Yeah, it's out over here. Come on. Okay, here we go. Dingo Eat the Baby is again another brand new homegrown title for us. It's okay. very cute. It's about dingoes eating babies, which might sound gruesome, but it's not really. Uh, actually, it's a circle of life game, kind of meets blackjack. Okay. So it plays pretty quickly. Um, it's for two to five players. It's a lot of fun. I highly recommend it. Again, if you're a fan of Mike Elliott like I am, I would argue, I would argue you should probably pick this one up. So, yeah. So, All right. That's what we got new for the show. Okay. And then uh, upcoming, we've got uh, a couple things that are coming at Gen Con. Absolutely. Something you can, that you can talk about. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, first and foremost, Shark Island. Yes. Pete Shirey, Richard Lanius. Uh, amazing game designers, and they made an amazing game. Mm -hmm. It's based off of a giant shark terrorizing an island in the summer. Where have you heard that before? Right. Right? Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a 1v many. Okay. So that'll be available at Gen Con. Right. All right. So come by the booth, pick it up. Um, you can't miss it, trust me. Uh, Dungeon Draft is another game that we're looking forward to. It's a drafting game designed by Justin Gary. It's, uh, if you like drafting, this is a hardcore game. It is for you. It's a lot of fun. Okay. Dread Draw uh, by Ryan Miller. That'll be available at Gen Con. It's a two player, really 
fast-paced, light game, in the vein of war, but a little bit more deep and a lot more fun. Okay. okay? And then, um, obviously, last but not least, Legendary DXP, which is our digital version of Legendary, uh, will be launching at that show. Sweet. All right. Awesome. So beyond that, man, come by. We're still going to have oh, Legendary Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Forgot about that. Right. Legendary Buffy's coming. And uh, everything we've had previously, all these games will still be there. Yep, all these things. So if you get a chance to come out to convention, make sure you try them out. Yeah. And uh, All right, well, thanks, Jason, for your time and sharing stuff with us. All and right, uh, we'll catch you guys later. All right, all right. right on. Bye-bye.